Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're going to be doing a Star Wars Battlefront trailer breakdown, showing off the new guns and heroes and maps. Let's get to it. We start off on Tatooine with some ATSTs, Imperials, and Luke's farm, which looks like it's been destroyed. We got the typical Sand Troopers, ATSTs. They look like they're gearing up for a fight. Here we're on Solist, and we're getting a much better look at what to expect from this planet. A big Imperial base, lots of TIE Fighters, Star Destroyers up above, ATATs down below, with some of those really cool turrets from the Death Star. And I imagine this lava flow area is going to be the path of Walker Assault. So get ready to fall into some hot lava. Next, we got Admiral Akbar up on the intercoms and the rebels run out into an Imperial hangar, which at first looks like it could be on the Death Star, but I believe it's on Solus because they are wearing the same uniform as shown when they're fighting on Solus in the rest of this trailer. Then we've got the Millennium Falcon in the Hoth ice cave here with a gonk droid walking around. Perhaps this is part of the new mode where you actually have to capture the gonk droids and then we've got a battle worn rebel looking up at the millennium falcon one of the many skins that it looks like you can play as back on solist we see a rebel transport in the background lots of rebel ships overhead a war torn rebel here in the front ground with an x-wing flying overhead and then we're going to see a blue twi'lek rebel here at the tail heads as they charge into battle with at -AT. so i assume this is the walker assault game mode and watch the a-wing and tie fighter chase each other up into the sky as you see a super Star Destroyer in the atmosphere, which is totally crazy. Look at the scale compared to the actual Star Destroyer. Looks like we're in for some serious canyon gameplay here on Solist, and I'm wondering if the Rebels are assaulting or retreating, because I believe Solist is actually supposed to be one of the Imperial bases. It'll be interesting to see how this ties into the storyline. An explosion cut surprise, we're on Endor, complete with speeder bikes being driven by the Imperials, but also Rebels, as you'll see later, and then we can jump jet up into the treehouse city of the Ewoks, which just looks amazing and apparently is also destructible. Transitioning to Walker Assault on Tatooine, you'll see a giant sand crawler in the background. We saw this in one of the previous trailers. Can't wait to see how that fits into the game. And then we get our first look at one of the new heroes, Leia, decked out in her Hoth uniform. Probably going to be a little bit warm here in the desert. Especially when you got Boba Fett using his flamethrower to warm things up. But don't worry, Leia apparently has a hero ability that looks like she can put down some sort of supercharged shield. It's a different color than the previous one. Also, this clip makes it look like the EE3 blaster carbine might be a burst fire weapon. Now, it looks like Boba Fett's going to have full flight control with his jetpack dodging Sarlacc pits, and you'll see in the background we've got Jabba's sail barge. There's also a couple Banthas in the background as well. X-Wing transition, and we're back on Hoth. Old news, but we do have the new Rebel models, showing a Rebel Zabrak, aka the guy that Darth Maul was, so it's kind of cool that they're incorporating some of that lore into the game. Then we get to see the Snowspeeder tow cable takedown, if you haven't seen that already, where the heck have you been for the Star Wars beta? Then we We've got two rebels manning their post. One is a Duros alien and he's carrying a bowcaster. So we do actually get a crossbow in this game. Suck that, Call of Duty. And then of course, Darth has got to steal the show, dropping the mic on these rebels and just tearing people apart with the lightsaber. But wait, what was that? Sounds like a new hero coming on scene. We got Han Solo charging through the Imperial Stormtroopers. I don't, was that a charge attack? I'm not really sure how he killed them there. It looked kind of goofy. He also looks kind of goofy. His character model isn't the best and his voice acting isn't the best either. No real clues here about what his hero abilities entail. We'll have to just wait till the game comes out I guess and uh, it doesn't look like he's gonna do so well against Vader. This next clip is the best in the whole freaking trailer showing the Rebel and Imperial fighting on the speeder bikes. This is what I've been waiting for and uh, it makes sense that they've been saving it to this point. I'm sure it's gonna be one of the cooler things to do in this game. Then we've got Fighter Squadron on Tatooine as we fly past a Rebel transport ship. Gonna be be interesting to see how that might be part of the objectives. We see a Tatooine village, Star Destroyer in orbit here with the Millennium Falcon, the dual suns. It looks beautiful. Can't wait to see how these game modes play out. Then we've got the Rebels charging across the open desert here. This could be Tatooine or Jakku. Is there anything we can pull from this clip here? Yep, we see the SE-14C blaster pistol. One of the Rebels is carrying it, so that's a new weapon as well. And then the Imperials charging the other direction, a few of them carrying the new RT-97C heavy blaster rifle. 
Then we've got some deep ice caves on the Hoth planet that I imagine we'll be seeing in some of the other game modes other than Walker Assault. Back to Endor, this time on the inside of a bunker. This is the power substation or something like that for generating the shield for the Death Star. Back on Endor at dusk, you can actually see a lakeside Ewok village in the background, which is pretty cool as Luke takes down the stormtroopers. But oh wait, we have another hero reveal. The Emperor has come down to do his own dirty work, full of lightning. No lightsaber, apparently. Star Destroyers in orbit, Death Star in the sky. It looks beautiful. Luke apparently can block the lightning. I cannot wait to play as these freaking heroes. And these maps. Oh my god, Endor. It looks beautiful. Lots of cool new little tidbits of information. I hope you guys enjoyed this trailer breakdown. And I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.